Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the falling prices on Team of the Season cards today as we went through the second day of lightning rounds and of these cards being in packs. And as we kind of enter into the weekend league sell off time of the weekend, we're kind of in that, you know, Saturday into Sunday time period where we're having a lot more weekend league sell off. A lot of these prices are dropping as people are selling the cards that they used in the weekend league and these cards are getting packed more as well so i want to talk about some of these cards today also show you how you can you know just learn about a card's rarity and a card's supply on the market can give you a lot of ideas and hey how much is this card going to be packed how much could this price drop if there's panic and also the potential for a price rise if a card is very op very desired and uh wanted by people that play this game and if people are willing to pay a lot for him, if he's got less supply, that can mean a larger rise on that card as well. So I want to talk through that today. But we're going to go over to Flippin and look through these cards from today because these guys got hit with lightning rounds again today and also some interesting little panic situations and scenarios that I want to talk about as well with some of these. Um, first example is going to be KDB, right? The number one head honcho from this team of the season set of cards, the Club 90, literally I think in total statistics, might be the number one card in FIFA for total stats of, of, of in-game stats. KDB last night was 4.1 mil, so he was pretty low, right? So Friday, what happened was he went to PAX, went to 3.8, went to 4.3, 4.4, went down to 4.1. I was able to snag myself an undercut at 3.9. Kind of rose back up in the morning, 4.4 mil again. Drops back down to 6 p.m. UK to 4 mil. People panic selling these cards. And this happened across the entire team today. People were selling these cards before 6 p.m. UK because they knew lighting rounds were coming and they thought the prices were going to drop lower. But what happened was EA messed up the lighting round situation today, in my opinion. We'll talk about that in a second. And a lot of these cards didn't get packed. So they shot right back up. KDB went from 4 mil all the way back to 4.3, almost 4.4, where he is chilling now. Uh, as the weekend league is kind of coming to, you know, the sec two thirds or what three quarters of the weekend league being through and being played, still about around 4.3 million. But if we look back at some of these card prices, like a Sadio Mane, some of these cards have already started to drop. Mane last night was 2.1 million, rose back to 2.3 this morning, down to 2 million flat again because of the lightning round panic sell off. People thought the prices were going to drop. Boom, goes back up to 2.26 and is now back down in that under 2.1 million coin range. Now, this is pretty crazy, right? A lot of panic selling before that lightning round set on Saturday because a lot of people thought, hey, these cards are definitely going to drop during the lightning rounds. Uh, and they went back up because not a lot of lightning rounds were actually released on the market today. I want to talk about that now as well. This is something that we a lot of us noticed today when they released lightning rounds at 6, 7, 8 p.m. UK specifically at the 7 and 8 p.m. UK windows for the 100k packs and the 125k packs, EA only released 20,000 of those packs on the market for each of the 100k and the 125k lighting rounds. Only 20,000. To put that in perspective, I think last week for community for the 100k and for the 125k lighting rounds on Friday, I'm pretty sure they did 100,000 packs. I don't understand why EA did not drop even like 200,000 or at least 100,000 of those uh, 100Ks and 125K packs during landing rounds today, that basically all that means is they lost money today. Uh, they had the potential to make more money for selling more packs and they did not make that money today because uh, they didn't release that many packs. Seriously, the 100K and 125K landing rounds on Saturday literally sold out in under a minute for the 100K landing round and under two minutes for the 125k because there were just so little amount of packs i don't know if somebody put in the wrong button somebody missed a zero or whatever it is but that was a missed opportunity by ea today because these lightning round packs and just packs in general are being opened like crazy by everybody in this game because uh these are team of the season cards these are the best cards that we see uh on just a wide number of players on the squad you know a large group of players from the premier league just got these insane boosts and people, a lot of people are at home, a lot of people have time. So you're seeing a lot of these cards, uh, you know, a lot of people want to get them through lightning rounds and stuff. And EA did not let people in their game get those cards today and they lost out on money because of that. Now, does that really have any market implications? Not really that much. It could make some of these TOTS cards a little bit more rare, 
But I think a lot of the team of the season supply actually comes at rewards. There's a ton of supply that comes at rewards. Not most of it, but that's a huge influx on the market on Thursdays with the elite packs and the top 100 packs and stuff. These cards are going to get packed super, super, super uh, high amounts. So that was kind of a mistake by EA today by not releasing more packs. And that's very interesting. They did not want to do that. But just looking into some of these cards and noticing which ones are more rare than others, uh, that's a huge thing on this game that you can really learn from. Like Abamyang, I mentioned this earlier, right? Let's look at the total number of Abamyang Team of the Season cards on FIFA. So I set a search filter. It's going to show me just the Team of the Season and all of those Team of the Seasons. Abamyang has three total pages of Team of the Season cards on the market. 96 rated striker, right? Let's go look at Hyunmin Sun, 95 rated left mid. Uh, one of the most popular FIFA players in terms of a foot card. Now, there's going to be a couple of inform or Team League Moments Suns in here. So we'll just have to count them out. Uh, but look how many pages of, of supply this card had, has. I noticed this supply on Sun last night, late night NA. I was like, man, there's a lot of these Sun cards that are getting listed up. Sun has 10 pages of supply, right? Maybe like 9 pages with... Um, if you take out some of these informs that are in here, that's three times more than Aubameyang. Three times more. Uh, and that was just interesting to me when I saw how much supply that this Sun card had compared to the Aubameyang. Now, why is that? Now, you could say, yeah, Sun's base rating is a little bit lower than Aubameyang. I don't think that really plays into it that much. Um, I just think for whatever reason that Aubameyang card is more rare. And that could make him... That, that could mean that Aubameyang could be in for a larger rise uh, later this weekend or next week as they go out of packs and a lot of people want that card depending on how low the price gets when you have less supply that means you really have to be keen on whenever there's a panic window or whenever you see that price start to drop there's not going to be as many people if it's more rare undercutting that card and giving you an opportunity or a chance to maybe get that card on a deal so um notice which cards are more rare right this henderson card he's got a decent amount of supply but he's going to be one of the most desired cards because he's at a more affordable level for a lot of people in this game and is jordan henderson fantastic here in the prem got a lot of hype liverpool you know center mid he's got ea absolutely went all out with this card and he's getting sold right now 655k this is the cheapest this card has been i think it goes a little bit lower tomorrow just because of again more supply and um more weekend league sell-off i expect about all of these cards to go lower uh, not tomorrow, but today on Sunday, as you see, some of them have already hit like all time lows. Alexander Arnold is 460. He was five over 500 today at one point. Van Dyke is 2.4. Myers is 1.15. Robertson's 375. Again, Hendo is 660. Adama's 430. So some of these guys are starting to drop. Allison's under 200K. A lot of these guys are starting to drop. Would we see a little bit of a market rise going into Sunday? Maybe a tiny bit, but probably not that much. And then uh, more of just panic selling as we exit the weekend league with squad battle rewards late night, Sunday into Monday. I do expect these cards to continue to go down in price. Now, the cards that are going to get hit the most in price are just going to be the ones that have more supply. Again, like Mario seems to have a lot, has a lot of supply. Salah, for whatever reason, this card I don't understand. I guess since we have St. Maximin in this game and we have some other right wings like Mares. I think this Salah just kind of becomes a backseat contender as a card that a lot of people want because this team of the season last year was 2.2 million coins. Salah, first day last year in FIFA 19, was a 2.2 million coin card, and he had very similar stats, the exact same rating as this Salah from this year. But I just think that the other uh, right wings in the Prem that we have is just drawing some demand away from Salah, especially with his weak foot, which they did not upgrade. So... Uh, I do expect some dropping prices today on Sunday. If you have a team of the season card and you want the coins before your weekend league ends, I think I would take the cash on it as early as you can Sunday before lightning rounds. Um, if you see the, the prices start to drop though, like we saw today um, into lightning rounds, I don't know if I would sell into that. I would maybe wait and see if there's a possible little bit of a bounce back after lightning rounds, but I, I wouldn't expect as much panic heading into LRs today. I just think you're going to see continued selling throughout the day you notice i have some other cards in my trance list as well um some of these team of the year cards have been dropping wow seven two for ronaldo wow man 7.2 for white shirt as they call him uh a lot of these cards are dropping a ton man this mbappe was like four and a half million coins my dude right now is 4.1 somebody told me today they saw him and they bought him for 3.8 
which is crazy. Uh, but what's happening is people are selling team of the years to go buy some of these team of the seasons. Messi was 4.5 mil, I think just last week. And he was 3.6 today. Right now he's 3.8. But still, a lot of these team of the years are falling. De Jong is 1.7, about to go under 1.7. Um, do these cards rise? This is what I want to spend a little bit of time talking about today and just kind of get your minds ready and kind of thinking ahead for later this week in foot with Week in League Rewards. And you can think about this, right? Just think about people that are going to be opening the Elite Team of the Week packs on Thursday and what's going to happen with the amount of coins in this game. It's going to rise exponentially. Exponentially, there's going to be a rise in coins on this game because of stuff that's going to happen on Thursday with rewards, right? Imagine, let's say you get one player from the starting 11 in your rewards for your elite pack, right? So you get three team of the season cards, tradable. Let's say you get one player from the starting 11 that's not Allison. Let's say you get Allison. And then let's say you get one of these players from down here on the bench, like Henderson, right? So let's say you get Henderson, Allison, and maybe like Alexander Arnold. That would be like an average, very, you know, that could, that's going to be more of an average pack that you're going to get. From a, maybe you include some of these Kovacic or Adama. So let's go Henderson, Allison, and Adama, right? That'd be an average pack, um, maybe even a little below average for a Tots elite pack pool. Dude, you're getting with that pack right there. If you go Adama and Henderson, that's a million coins. And then uh, Allison's another 200K. So you're getting 1.2 million coins. Basically, you're almost guaranteed to make a million coins on your rewards. There's going to be people, and I remember this from last year, right? There's going to be people from top 100 rewards that will make well over 10 million coins on Thursday from rewards. All it takes when you have 11 players to choose from from this, from your red, uh, not red, from your elite top 100 packs, you're going to have guys that pack Aubameyang, Mane, Aguero, and then like all the guys on the bench in the same pack. But if you pack three guys, that's six to seven million coins right there. The amount of coins that are going to be just put on the market and that the elite members of FIFA are going to have, right? The guys that get elite are, the, you know, the guys that are really, really good at this game. They're going to have a ton of coins to work with later on in this week. What is that going to do to cards that are also very, very valuable that are out of packs cards on the market? This CR7, this Mbappe, this Messi, this De Jong, even this Prime Icon Moments, moments Hullet, these types of cards are going to rise into this weekend after rewards on Thursday. This is what I was talking about last year with the team of the season rewards inflation. So if you're a high tier player in this game, if you're if you're an elite three player, um, what I would do when you get those rewards, and I know this not might not be a ton of you guys, but plan out what you want to do for your team uh, and maybe have a couple players interchangeable, whether you pack, you know, 2 million coins from rewards or whether you get 10 million coins from rewards. So maybe you have a couple different plans set in place, depending on what you get from rewards, because you're going to want to buy cards really fast and really, really quickly. Of course, taking into account, are they actually low or not? Um, because a lot of the high tier, you know, cards over a million coins, especially like meta icons, especially like an out of packs, like middle Vieira, middle Hullet, uh, Eusebio's, all of his versions, a lot of those are going to start rising up. Some of these foot birthdays, uh, I don't even want to think about what Alan St. Maximin is going to do next week. Uh, this card might be like 1.7 million coins, which is crazy. Um, even foot birthday Mbappe could take a big rise. This is one of the most OP cards in the game. And if somebody didn't have him before, they might be able to afford him with their weekend league rewards. That's the kind of stuff that you're really going to see a boom on next week with the weekend league rewards from the Premier League. So that's something to just kind of get ready for if you're on that elite tier level and to think about. But for the rest of these cards that are in the game, right? More weekend league sell-off is probably going to happen on these as well. What are we looking for this week? What are we looking for this week, right? Supposedly, the Serie A is the next team of the season squad that we're going to be getting. So high tier, not high tier, but meta cards from the Serie A might be stuff that we're going to start to watch this week, right? I think Mertens is probably due for a team of the season card. Now, I think besides the headliner, this Mertens is really, really interesting to me. I think Mertens will get a tots. Not entirely sure. I feel like he should. He does have an inform. I, don't, I haven't looked at any of the Serie A statistics yet, um, but Ronaldo's probably going to get in. I would expect like a Mertens, maybe Insigne, probably 
I don't know about Delict. He's got a couple informs. I'm just basing this off of like inform and knowledge of cards that have specials already in foot. Um, but let's say Mertens gets a team of the season, right? I'd be very interested in this center forward 90 rated Mertens with the 90 the 90 shooting that he has and also the shapeshifter Mertens, right? Uh, who has got the four-star skills, four-star weak foot, which is big for him. Does Merton's card regularly have four-star, four-star? He does. Okay, so there wasn't anything going on here with skills or weak foot boost. It was just the position change and the pace boost on Merton's. But this is the type of card that we're going to be really interested in this week, right? Maybe that's not a, uh, the only one, but just look around. Like this hate bower is a special in the Serie A. Look for a lot of high-tier specials in the Serie A as your sellout this week. Last week, all we talked about was... Premier League, Premier League, Premier League. This year, what we're going to talk about, or this week, what we're going to talk about is Serie A, right? Serie A is supposedly the next league that is coming. Now, it could be Bundesliga, um, but I wouldn't buy a ton of this stuff yet. I would just start to put these cards on your radar, right? These aren't actual buys yet. We're just starting to put these on our radar because we know that they could be getting Team of the Season cards soon. And that's something that would be, you know, very profitable to us later this week. Because if you remember, a lot of the stuff that I bought last week and made a lot of coins on were Premier League specials. And a lot of them that I bought were ones that got Team of the Seasons. Because those, it draws hype to a player's card when they get a Tots card, right? I bought Mara Shapeshifter. His Shapeshifter went from 260k on Thursday to 340k, 350k on Saturday. Uh, because he got a Tots card. Mane's Informs Flu. I bought, all, I bought multiple versions of Sun. They flew in price, the middle versions of Sun. Um, who else did I see go up? Aubameyang. I bought Aubameyang's Team of the Week Moments card that literally went out of packs last Wednesday. Bought it for 285 to 300K. He went up 100,000 coins. Those are the kind of rises you could see on a guy like a Mertens or maybe somebody like if um, Lataro Martinez got a Team of the Season card, maybe you see his future star item go down in price. And his uh, team of the season when it comes out is like two and a half or three million coins. But hey, that future star item is now 900K because of the panic selling. And that's a possible scenario where you can make some coins from that. So just some stuff to think about as we head into this week with foot. The Serie A, it looks like Serie A. If Serie A is confirmed, if we maybe get some more information on that later this week, which we probably will, just start to kind of put some ideas in your head together about that sort of stuff. But just watch the panic sell off from the weekend league as well. Um, a lot of Premier League cards, you're probably going to see dip in price uh, because people are going to just be selling off their teams. And a lot of people bought up Prem cards uh, for the weekend thing this weekend to maybe link with some of those new Tots cards that they had if they were trying to make a squad or whatever. Last thing really quick, player moments, Diago Jota. Uh, this is a no expiration SBC that came out on Saturday. Five star week for four star skills. It is a good looking card. But I think it's just, uh, it's too overpriced, man. They gave us this Ndidi SBC for basically chips. Very, very good card. And then they go out and they, I think this SBC is pretty expensive. If, if I'm remembering correctly, it's 85, 86, and 87 squads. 400K for moments Diago Jota. 425K for this card. Uh, I just think this was overpriced today. If it was, you know, 200K, 250K, I think it would be a lot more accurately priced. But uh, instead... It is a little bit too much. There's a Premier League Tots kit, which pff, I don't think this kit looks uh, that good at all, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of that kit, but it is what it is. Uh, I would expect another player SBC today on Sunday, or possibly they add somebody to the Premier League League SBC. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. I think they added Ben White last week on Tuesday, um, but maybe they'll do that earlier for the Prem. So again, my last thing I'll leave you guys with as well if you want to tweet at EA, we're just trying so hard to get them to change this because if Monday comes and there's nothing to do in this game, if there's no upgrade packs, that is a massive, massive L for just EA in their game. They're killing their own promo right now by A, not releasing enough lightning rounds for them to make money, and B, not putting out these upgrade SBCs that we want, that we ask for every year. Uh, they're only putting them out for 24 hours, which is like the biggest vibe killer um, like what is there to do from Monday to Wednesday on this game? If they put out these SBCs, there'd be tons of stuff to do. There'd be tons of views for their game on Twitch and on YouTube and all sorts of stuff. Um, just because people would be hyped to do those upgrades, right? Even if you're not going to open the upgrades yourself, isn't it fun to watch somebody do upgrades and maybe pack a team of the season after doing like 50 or hundred of them, you know, I think that'd be kind of cool. So again, if you want those upgrade packs, 
join with me tweeting at EA say, hey, kindly, we ask you to release these upgrade packs early and not just for 24 hours because that would really uh, give us a lot of fun times on your game uh, this week and throughout the rest of the team of the seasons that are coming after this um, because there's really not much else to do, to be honest. There's just, you know, objectives to grind, which doesn't take you the whole week if he doesn't have to. And then who wants to play the game during the week anyway? It's all about week and league on the weekends. That's what everybody plays. So that's my little spiel about that. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.